Hi there. In this video, we are going to look at two commands you will use uh, fairly frequently. Uh, one's the CP command for copy, and one is the MV command for move or also uh, for renaming files. So uh, the easiest thing to do is to, uh, to copy some files just to say CP and then the source file to the destination file, and that will uh, move the file with the same name from the source to the destination. So for instance, I happen to have uh, a few folders here and assign zero. Uh, let's do this. Um, let's do this. Let's say cp assign zero slash, I think there's a hello.c file there, and let me move it to assign five, right? So what I've done is I've said, here's the source, assign zero hello c, and I want to move it to the assign five directory like that, right? And it just did it without prompting because in the assign five directory, there was no uh, there was no cp or there was no hello.c file already. If I try that again though, watch what happens. It says cp overwrite this and you say a yes or no. So let's say, oh, I don't want to overwrite that. That's a nice little check that we have set up on the uh, myth system for you. Uh, just keep in mind that many Unix systems don't have that check built in automatically. So you go to a different Unix system and you try to copy files and you think, oh, well, if it already exists, I'll get a, I'll get a nice little alert. That's not necessarily going to be the case. So you have to be a little bit, little bit careful with, with that. Uh, I could also, I could do say, oh, well, I don't want to call it hello C. I want to call it hello 2.c. And uh, that just says, look, just rename it to make the copy and call it hello 2.c. So uh, that's how you do uh, copies like that. And uh, you can also copy entire folders. So let's say I have cp-r, which will recursively copy an entire folder. So let's say assign 0 to assign 22. I just want to copy the entire assign 0 to some folder called assign 22, uh, which doesn't exist yet, let's say. And it will copy the whole thing. So if I do assign 22, all my files will be in there. So you can recursively copy and uh, so forth. Now. If I uh, tried it again, uh, which does exist, believe it or not, it doesn't actually uh, give us a prompt in this case. Um, if I did all the files in there, let's say I do assign zero slash star, star being the wild card. If I do assign zero slash star to assign 22, it will probably ask me yes. It will ask me. I'm not sure why the recursive one doesn't automatically do that. Now, here's something that's uh, a bit painful to, uh, to actually make the the copy the entire thing, if it already exists, you uh, will have to answer yes for all those little prompts. And there's a couple ways around this. Um, because the CP command is aliased, in fact, if you just type alias, it will tell you what the CP command is. The CP command is actually aliased to CP-I. And if we do man CP and search for dash I, we will see it's the interactive. So it's prompting before the overwrite, which is kind of nice, right? Uh, but what you can do is you can actually say, okay, fine, I just want to do backslash CP and then uh, dash, uh, let's do assign zero, actually we'll do a dash R again, dash R assign zero slash star to assign 22 and it'll actually run the original CP command for you and you don't have to do that. Uh, so that's how the CP command actually uh, works. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, again, it will uh, have the same file name unless you actually put a file name itself in the destination folder that you're trying to copy it to. Uh, now, another uh, command, the mv command, is used to uh, move one file from uh, one place to another. So let's do assign zero again and see what's in there. Um, let's see, we want to move the readme.txt file to assign 22. Move, uh, let's, actually, let's actually just do this. Move assign zero readme.txt to the current directory. All right, so what we did was we moved the readme file there, and if we look at assign zero again, oh, readme's gone, because so it actually did copy it and then removed it from the original folder. So that's nice, if I want to move it back, I can just type move readme.txt to assign zero, and it will move it right back. Now, what if you tried to move assign zero slash readme to assign 22, like that, it will ask you if you want to overwrite it. So same thing as before. 
Now this is an easy way to uh, rename something. Move assign zero read me. Oops, <laughs> moved it already. Let's uh, move it back. Move assign 22 read me to assign zero. And let's move assign zero read me dot txt to let's just call it something else. Sign zero slash let's make maybe we want to make it uppercase read me dot txt something like that. It will actually rename it. So that actually does the move. It makes a copy and then removes the original, which is the same thing as renaming it. So that's how you uh, use the move command. You do not have to worry about the dash R if you want to move an entire folder. So let's move assign 22 to assign 23. You just type move assign 22 to assign 23. They're both folders, so it'll just move the entire thing. All it's really doing is renaming the upper directory, the first directory to the second directory name, so it doesn't actually have to do any copying of files. So that's, uh, that is the move command. Now, as I said, you have to be a little bit careful with other Unix systems that don't necessarily have the alias for uh, the check for overwriting. So uh, just make sure that when you're on other Unix systems, uh, you be careful when you are doing the MV command. Thanks.